We're talking today about Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond 7 Year. What do you think of the label? What do you think of the bottle? Uh, it looks like it's old fashioned. Okay. And yeah. Does it does it look like it's a good bourbon? Uh, it seems like. Or in the middle, yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. so, all right. This stuff came out in 2019 and it's controversial. Very controversial in both taste and price. Let's get into the price. This stuff I bought it at Costco for 45 bucks. Some stores, because they know it's a little very limited, a little allocated, they're trying to mark it up to 80, which is a bit of a ripoff, but the old heads, the old bourbon heads, old school guys, they hate this stuff. Because Heaven Hill had the exact same bottle and bond, same proof, same everything, but only a six year version, and it was only $20. Now they discontinued that in 2019 because of the you know the demand for bourbon this and that and they added one more extra year of aging and they doubled the price to forty dollars. Well, is it a small distillery or it's a huge Heaven corporation? Hill? It's uh -huh. huge. They make a lot of brands. They have uh, old Fitzgerald, is that Larceny, MGP? probably not as big, but still. I mean, they have a lot of brands and so yeah, so. Old school guys hate the new price, <laughs> basically, because they lost something. But at the same time, for a new school guy like me, I'll put it like this. Let's say I just started drinking bourbon last year, or I've been into it for a year, and ever since I got into it, stuff like Eagle Rare, which is, I'm not saying this tastes like Eagle Rare, but I'm saying a quality bourbon like Eagle Rare that's aged for 10 years, Supposed to be MSRP for uh, $35, $40. Nowhere to be found for that amount of money. So if it's possible that it's the same quality as Eagle Rare, then from a new school perspective, hey, it's just 45 bucks. It's a good deal. So let's find out. Let's check out the taste. Oh, well, it's a healthy pour. <laughs> now, usually I'm not into uh, bottle and bond so much because I like stuff a little higher proof, you know, maybe in uh, 107 and up, but... It smells good. Yeah. Like vanilla. Okay. Like some candy. Yeah. Leather, little oak, leathery oak on the on the nose. Hmm, it's sweet. Not over the sweet. No, Say like little tobacco, a little bu like butterscotch finish at the end. Um. Starts with a little, uh, w w what's the note that first it starts with? Hmm. Like cinnamon? I can see that. A little bit of red hot. Mm hmm and, and yeah, yeah, I like it. The finish, the finish is very sweet. Yep, very sweet. And what about this, like, what about the middle, the mid palate? Meat pellet. Let me drink a, a little bit of water here, clear cleanse the palate. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't know what kind of wood yeah, they, definitely. they use using to like it's always pine wood for... No, it's, it's bottle and bond, so it has to be a certain type of barrel. Uh, what kind of barrel? Like it's, it's different barrels for different No, barrels? bottle and bond has to be a... Uh, what kind of wood? 
I, I don't, that's off the top of my head, I don't remember, but it's like, it has to be uh, like the American oak or something. Like a new American oak barrel. Ah, uh, okay. If it's wrong, if I'm wrong, it's really embarrassing. Yeah, I, I think, think so. you can taste the kind of wood. It's, it's not like I, just woody. I think it's uh, like the some type of wood. It, I think they're all the same type of wood, but either they get toasted or they get like really charred, they burnt on the inside. Um, but yeah, this definitely has a lot of uh, like woody flavor. But the certain type, because I think, what did we try it last time? The Booker's? Mm -hmm. You could taste wood also, but, but I the think Booker's is a very like... charred, charred barrel. What is charred barrel? Like burnt? When they burn the inside of it for a couple minutes. Oh, what about it this one? It's not burnt? I think... I need to look it up. Okay, That's look it, it up. No, I haven't held it. Bottle and Bonds is 100 proof of new barrel and oat aged for at least four years. Definitely very sweet, sweet finish. Um, overall, very, very pleasant. I'm not, again, I'm not saying it tastes like Eagle Rare, but it it's as qual if it has it has the same type of quality i would say even though this is eagle rare is 10 years older i mean three years has three years more maturity um but for 45 bucks i think it's a steal i think it's a great it's not absolutely nothing wrong with it i know it's contra even to taste is controversial i've seen online reviews where people dog it say it's the worst product heaven hill has and why that taste is controversial? People don't like. Some people don't like it. Some people put it at the bottom when they do like a, like a tier list. They say that this is like they put the old Fitzgerald, the, their high end stuff, at towards the top, and this Heaven Hill Seven Year all the way at the bottom, saying it's the worst tasting product they have. Mm. It's weird. I mean, it tastes very normal. It's not bad, but not good. I mean, it's not like amazing, but I, w I would buy it over cheap 101 wild turkey. Or, 101? Yeah, or some wild turkey rare breed. Well, rare breed is a different, different category. It's like a high, it's, it's high proof. Or I think it's very close to... What, it, what do you think? How does it stack up against Eagle Rare? Mm. Or I mean, Eagle Rare is better. I think it's more flavorful than Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare is very like smoky, right? Yeah, I think not as sweet. Eagle Rare, it's pretty, very like dusty, like straightforward. It's like you, you you have like one strong flavor, but here I think it's more like it's giving you a little bit more options. I, I do maybe two three flavors going around. I do pick up like a like a tobacco, like a little dusty tobacco cigar flavor. It's really good, and then it like tapers off to like a sweet butterscotch. I'm um, trying to discern like what the the very first note it comes in with. I'm trying to find the uh, barrels, the wood. American oak. I think a bottle and bond means a brand new American oak barrel. They can't, if, 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 if there's any other kind of wood, it, they can't label a bottom, bo bottle and bond. That's it. I want to check it. What type of... Okay. <laughs> okay, it's oak. It was right. But American oak, right? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because there are so many types of woods to choose from as maple, acacia, chestnut, and cherry. Mm -hmm. And yolk, oak, yolk, oak. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, for bottle and bond. But yeah, I think it's it's certain type. Maybe, yeah, it's I mean, I guess you put water. You you can if you want. Yeah. The uh, the although what what can be different is the amount of time, because like after they chop down the wood, 
how long it sits outside in the elements in like a, you know, in like whatever, wherever they keep it, a parking lot. I don't want to say parking lot. Sounds really bad. <laughs> but they keep it in like some lumber yard or something and they keep it outside. And the longer they keep it, like the, the better, the better it matures before they make it into a barrel. Mm -hmm. But yeah, well, you want to add a drop? Mm -hmm. You're so passionate about bourbon even like spilled into my eye. Did I spin your eye? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Here are a couple drops. Let's see if it changes anything. Not that, I mean, bottle and bond is already kind of like, the proof is not super high that I don't think you even need to do that. Yeah, I think it's somewhere between Wild Turkey 101 and Woodford Reserve. Somewhere in between. Some... Woodford Reserve has like a little, like a, like a, like a stringent, Bite afterwards, aftertaste, no? No, this is why I'm, I'm saying this. Somewhere in between. How much the wood for it to reserve? 60 bucks? No, it's like 35. 35? And oh, what about double oak? Yeah, double oak is like 50, 60. Oh, what about 101? Probably looking at 23 bucks. Yeah, I think it's 40. It's this between... 40, 45. I mean, if you can find it at Costco, I mean, you pr probably somebody finding it in the actual liquor store probably going to pay 50 bucks for it. Yeah, I think it's between Woodford Reserve Double Oak, which is 55, 60. Okay. And 101, which is 25, 30 dollars. It's getting like with sweetness. I think it's getting to double, double oak, but not that sweet. Okay. And it tastes a little bit better than 101. I think 101 is very basic. Mm -hmm. And I would mostly drink 101 with cocktails. Yeah, like a mixer. Yeah. But this one, you can have it just... Well, the one, actually 101 is known to be like the god tier bourbon that's like set like it's like only $20 and has been aged from like six to seven to eight years. I mean, what a great value and how balanced it is that it's like perfect. It's like God tier bourbon. People love it. It's legendary. So no, it's good for mixed drinks or for like drink it with ice. Probably um, how you call the bourbon that like the bartenders usually well. Use. Oh, yeah, I think one one is a well good well bourbon. Okay. And this one is good. I mean, it looks like it's a small distillery. Mm hmm But, yeah, I'm surprised it's a huge distillery like Jim Beam. Yeah, no, they have a lot of brands. And it's pretty nice. I would drink it. And with water... Does it open up anymore? Yeah, I think with water it becomes more, you can feel more tobacco. Yeah, tobacco and like the smoke. And maybe some dust. Yeah, 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 <laughs> actually. You know, I love the like little funky, like, uh, I think, yeah, Eagle Rare has this like a, uh, like a, like a smoky dusty note sometimes or like Ant Weller Antique would have the same dusty note and I love it man <laughs> it's like it, it feels like it's like a grown-up mature you know bourbon that's you know been around for ages you feel like you're drinking history here mm -hmm. uh yeah in conclusion yeah I don't know why people like going crazy around it maybe they just what this one yeah maybe they so sad that it's it, twice expensive now I mean you said because a lot of people saying it's a shit bourbon or like like in the 10 of the worst bourbons no 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 I, I saw reviews i saw some famous youtubers that would review this like put this at the bottom of all the products heaven and hell makes like old uh, gerald um elijah craig uh 
uh, larceny, they just put it at the very bottom. That's like, as far as taste. I would also, I actually would put it like before larceny. Yeah. Maybe after. Which uh, one? The, the the high proof one? The, the... I think all of them. Yeah. But you can't compare this with a high proof bourbon. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's better than larceny. Well, I like it, okay? <laughs> I tried it because it's, it, I've never, I mean, now I've been seeing uh, this bottle everywhere, but as in like like a few months ago, it was never nowhere to be seen. Uh, I saw it at some dive bar. I gave it a try. I might have been a little buzzed. Maybe my uh, taste buds were a little, you know, fried a tiny bit, but when I, when I uh, uh, ordered a neat pour, it was good. I, I was really impressed. I was like, wow, I got to get a bottle. I got to get this. And you got it. Yep. <laughs> I got it. I you got want it? it? You, you got, got it. it. All right. Cheers. <laughs>